it's Jennifer with Jennifer at Home and I'm so happy you're here today because today I am going to be doing some decluttering and organizing in my bathroom. It is a super chilly, overcast, very, very windy day at my house. It is really too windy to go outside and do anything and it's far too chilly. So today I thought why not take a day like this with the chance of rain outside and see if I can get my bathroom in order. I really love to stock up on things that I like when they're on sale, especially from Bath & Body Works. I go every year after Christmas and go for my birthday and I stock up and buy all of the products I love to use throughout the entire year. It just so happens my very favorite Bath & Body products are the ones that are the Christmas scents. So the ones that are so fragrant and all have names that are super sweet treats to eat like cookies and gingerbread and vanilla bean. All of those are my very favorites. So why not stock up on them after Christmas when they're all tremendously marked down on sale? So that's what I do. I go and buy enough to get me through the entire year. However, the problem with that is I have a large surplus all at one time and I need to get a nice solution planned to put all of those in order so they're not all over the place in my linen closet and under my bathroom vanity for the whole rest of the year until I use all of the products that I've stocked up on. I also have all of my bathroom cleaning products as well and I seem to tend to stock up on those a little bit too much too when I have really good coupons or when I find that they're on sale. So let's see about getting these things in order and getting them straightened out. I have a plan with a nice little shelf that I bought from Ikea. Let's see how it works and put it all together. So this is the space we're gonna be working on today. This is under my bathroom vanity and I have to warn you, it's pretty scary. As I mentioned, I like to stock up on things and I just bring them in and put them here under the sink. So now is the time to get this cleared out and get it organized and try my new organizational system and see how it works. Let me get started emptying everything out. I have boxes of tissues. I have a bag of new items from Bath & Body Works. I have cleaning supplies, paper towels, disinfectant wipes, some hair products that I got in a markdown all the cleaning supplies on this side and I use that green pitcher to clean in the tub and in the shower. In the back I have some more Bath & Body Work supplies that I put in a plastic little tray. Let's see, there you can see the little tray. And I have some shampoos that I got at Target on a special. So let me empty this out and then we'll start working on and seeing what we can do to get this problem resolved. So I put this tray here in the bottom of the bathroom vanity and it was working really well until I got too many items and then all the big boxes of tissues and little things get piled in front of them and then it's hard to get to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do away with this tray and try a different solution to store all of the Bath & Body Works products. I have another closet to put my tissues in. I don't need to put these under the bathroom vanity. They can go up high on a shelf and another hall closet. I recently stocked up on all of these items online. They were such a tremendous deal and they're my favorite scents as I mentioned before. All of the cookies and holiday scents and my husband Alan uses these as well. We both really, really love these hand soaps and I use the shower gels. So I stocked up on those to last me all year. And then, in this bag, was from a recent trip we made with some packages of tissues in there but this is from a recent trip i got i got these items for christmas in here some shower gels and lip gloss and different things like that and then these are some items that we bought in the after christmas sale at our store they were 75 percent off so we got some tremendous deals on these However, now that we're home with all these items, it's really challenging to figure out how to organize them so that they'll last me throughout the entire year and they'll be easy to get to and look orderly. I have cleared everything out from under my vanity and vacuumed it and cleaned everything down. I just used this contact paper. I don't stick it down. I don't want to damage the cabinet, 
but I just lay it in there and fold the edges under and it stays really nice and flat. Now I'm going to show you the shelves I got from Ikea that we're going to try to put in here and make work. I bought these shelves from Ikea. There are four different shelves and they have a little support that goes in between each one. But I'm going to leave the middle section out right here. I'm not going to put the support post right in there because I'm going to stack these up and make two different shelves to fit under my sink. Let's try to put these together and see how it works. These shelves have a little attachment there that goes right in and snaps right down. All of the corners snap right together. And then I'm going to take this piece and put right on top. Just like that. Now we'll put this under the vanity and see just how this works to stack all of the products together. This shelf fits terrific underneath my bathroom vanity. Now I'll put the other one in on the other side. By leaving the feet off that rise it up and the middle section that's right here, I was able to make two shelves instead of the one taller shelf. Now I can have two layers of storage underneath my bathroom vanity and I think I'll also do this underneath my kitchen sink as well. Here's how the shelves look side by side instead of making one larger shelf. Taking them apart was a tremendous savings from other things that I found they go underneath the bathroom vanity. These were only $11.99 at Ikea, so it was a tremendous deal to be able to have two different segments to do underneath both sides of the vanity. I really like to keep bathroom cleaning products underneath my vanity, so I have this little caddy that I've already had, and I'm just going to put this right in the middle, right underneath that pipe because that's wasted space under there if you have tall items. So I'll put my cleaning products in there and start loading up the shelves with all of my products. have all of my body washes on the top shelf and some sprays and a couple lotions in the back. Now I'll put all of the hand soaps down on this side. I'll put the small body washes right in the front so they're very easy to get to. I still plan to keep this plastic pitcher that I got from the Dollar Tree and this scrubber and this little Mr. Clean Magic Sponge. I like to keep these in this cabinet with all the bathroom cleaning supplies. So I'm just going to put this right there in the front, right out of the way. And then I'm just going to put a roll of paper towels right in the front corner. So let's take a look at everything and see how it turned out. As you can see now, I have plenty of neat organized space for extra things that I buy on a clearance or with a great coupon or on the markdown. I am so happy and so delighted with the way that this organizational project turned out. Next time, I'll be doing my linen closet. I really truly appreciate you joining me. I'm so happy that I finally got all of these bathroom products in order. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to click the bell and don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you next time.